Hi again, I've managed to find some time to come up the unit, so it's tinkering time again. And what I'm doing today is getting this bottom panel on the Mercedes Sprinter side loading door. Um, I had it all in place and all fitting okay, but it needed to be welded in. And that's what I'm doing now. Uh, so what I've done up to now is I've just done spots of welds all the way along because I don't want to get it too hot so it warps. So I'm just taking my time. I haven't done that end at all yet, but I'm just putting odd spots in and it cool down a little bit and then go again. I decided to just overlap this bit because I can lose it with some filler in the groove bit like that. And I think that'll be fine. Uh, like I've said many times before, it hasn't got to look mint. It's just got to look tidy, this van. So um, I've been putting it off for uh, quite a few weeks, welding this in, and I've come up today and I want to get it done. So what I'll do is just carry on doing some more spots on there just to fill it in. And I'll film a little bit of that. And then it shouldn't be too long before we can get the door back off and get the side bits fully folded in welded in place and then i can start thinking about getting some filler in the door and getting some shape back to it where it's a bit out it's going to be out there a bit so i'm gonna to have to put a fair bit of filler in there but i'm not bothered about that it's going to have good solid metal underneath so yeah that's going to be good enough for this van So I've moved on a little bit now. I've sorted out that corner that was causing me a little bit of an issue there. Um, it is still sunken in there a bit, but like I said before, filler will sort that out. I've now welded all the way along and grinded it off. I don't think I had to really worry too much about it warping because behind there, there is a strengthening bar and I don't think it could really warp too much uh, with that bar there. If it was on a panel, which is like there, where it's just no strengthening bar underneath, then it would sort of warp and go wavy. But I think that's okay. It's gone in there pretty well. So my next job is to bend all the edges round. The bottom is almost round anyway. I didn't realize I'd done that. Must've done that when the door was off before. Um, that needs to just be bent round and this end as well. I have got to trim a bit off of this one. I have bent it round, but it's too long. It needs to be, cut off a little bit so it uh, folds in nicely that one i have just actually ground the edge of that take a little bit off so yeah it's um taken shape pretty well this door i have just ground that out well a little bit a little bit there as well still got to do more work on there and there but we are making real good progress i just kept putting this job off because i just knew it'd take a little while and i wanted to make sure everything fitted right but today i just thought I'm just going to get onto it and get it welded in. One other issue I have, and I have mentioned it on previous videos, is I welded that part early on when I was just sorting this door, and that is slightly at the wrong angle. It's supposed to have a piece like this on it that locates into there, or one of them. And there the bottom one is. It should locate into there. But... I was going to sort of recut the door and re-weld it, but I don't think I'm going to bother now. I'm just going to try to space it so it's right. So I'm not really worried about it at the moment. I don't want to get too involved in cutting all of that out and trying to get everything right when I can just 
like basically just space with like a wedge bit slightly angled and then it, it will straighten it up and it will fit into there. So that's what I'm gonna do there. I'm not gonna get too involved with that. It's taken me so long still, but it is solid now. It is quite nice. Feels really strong. I've got to do some more grinding in places, but yeah, it's definitely taking shape. Was it worth it from the beginning? No, definitely not. It took me miles too long. But now I've fitted the whole inner part of the door and built up all around there, all around the bottom corner there, um, and done all this as well, and all this. So yeah, the door was in a right state, um, but yeah, I am getting there now. There's little bits of welds off, um, got a grind, like I said, one there, but I'll do that when I finish off around there. Bit of filler, I'll tidy that up. Um, it's not a show vehicle, like I said before, it's just gonna be a tidy vehicle when it's done if i ever get there <laughs> uh, but we've also got this bit done now uh i did grind that right back and put some back tan on it and now it's just been filled in to uh, make it all nice and neat and tidy and smooth again so it looks right so what i'm going to do now is take the door back off i can't fold them bits around properly with the door on i need to get it off to do that and i did just shut the door and it's looking pretty good where it's shutting, where that new panel is down there, the line's nice down there. It will push in a little bit on the bottom. The line's good along there. The line's good up there as well. I've got to weld a little bit on the end there. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that, how it's fitting. So that'll be the hardest job of the van done. I have got to replace the bottom part of the door there because that's all rusty. Tried to grind it and that happened and the back arch. Back arch stays where it is, nothing opens on this. Um, so that won't be much of a problem. The front door, I only have to make sure I have it in line so the lines are right. But the side line door was much more difficult because it has to come out, slide along, then be shut and everything has to clear. And I've sorted that now, so I'm pleased with that. Um, so I'm gonna get the door off, get it on the table and start doing these finishing off bits. So I've done up the unit for today. I've made good progress on the door. I didn't show you me folding the bits around and tapping them round, but they are all in place now. And I have tacked it in various places along there. You can't see brilliantly because of the light, but it's quite obvious what I've done. I just tapped it round so it's tight around the lip there and tacked it. Um, this does need grinding, uh, but it is nearly ready to start getting some filler in. Um, I would like to put some more tacks around the lip bit that's bent round. So I'll probably do that, a bit stuck for time today. I just wanted to just get everything solid and in place. For some reason, when I tapped them around, these corners came in. So I've had to tap these corners back out, front and back, um, the other end of the door as well. So I don't know why I did that, but it's probably just the way I was um, tapping the metal over. But it's looking good. It's fitting really, really well. So I'm pleased with that. So yeah, next job is um, just getting them bits um, tacked. Um, so I'm happy with that part. And then we can get some, well, the door cleaned first and then get some filler in there to bring it up a little bit higher on that area, really. That is all all right around there. Um, but yeah, there is a bit, um, bit low, but we'll sort that out and make it look pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, if I can get the door done, I feel a lot better about the whole project really because that has been the real pain of a job on this van. So the wing's all right, that's getting there. The bottom of the door needs a panel on. The side loading door is a lot closer to being done. And then I've got to move on to sorting these bits out, which will just probably be a grind back, back tan and just feel to just, yeah, get the shape back and get nice and smooth and looking good and then there'll be the back arch to do which is a right mess let's just pull that bit out if i can there you go it's a filler from before but that's gonna have a new arch on it so it should be good all good then um i'm not sure what the inner arch is like where it's got a go to it's all right all inside it's all right but it's just a lip i might have to weld a new lip on before i put the new arch on uh probably will have to but if i don't that'll be a Big bonus. Uh, the seal has got one hole on it, um, what I found up to now. 
and I think I've mentioned it before, I'm not sure how well you can see. Oh, I think you can see okay. It's got a hole in there, which I've got a weld. That goes through to the step inside. So, yeah, strange this van, really. Got a lot of very solid parts on it, but then a lot of rusty parts on it. Uh, underneath, it's all solid. It's just the body has really, uh, yeah, been got by the dreaded rust. But a lot of them were like that. And if you see a lot of them for sale now, they look, all, they look awful. And this was looking awful, so... I'm hopefully going to get it looking pretty decent. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to leave the video here. So this has just been a little bit of action you've seen um, and an update of what's going on with the Mercedes Sprinter van. So I'll leave it there. So thanks for watching. I'll be along with another video again soon. So bye for now.